All right, hello guys, this is Demon coming back for another round of, well, I guess another update video. Um, many of you guys can sit there and see, I'm playing Final Fantasy. We look what I can do, I can make the camera go around. And this is, fortunately, the character that I'm currently playing as. And as many of you are probably doing, you're face palming. Yes, I play as the cat character. Yes, the female character. Yes, I play Final Fantasy too much, and this is the character I went with. For anybody who wants to question it, I made this on PS4. Oh, I got to think about that. I made that back in. I think Heaven's Ward just came out. So I've had this character for a very long time. And just because I could uh, port it over and use it, eh, I just stuck with it. So I like this character. It's really cool. Um, besides that, I really do love this game. I've been having a lot of fun playing it. Um, so I decided to sit here back at the uh, Inn Crystarium. None of you who don't play Final Fantasy probably won't know what the hell that is, but uh, it's part of DLC, Shadowbringers. I love this game. Uh, I've been playing this game a hell of a lot more than I probably should be playing it. Like, <laughs> I won't lie. I play this game so much right now. I've been doing New Game Plus, um, trying to unlock like all the different armors and stuff for this game. It's been it's been a lot of fun. I've, I've spent the last... I probably spent since maybe August at the earliest late July playing this game like crazy. And ever since I've been playing it, I've been enjoying this game more and more. Um, my only regret is that with New Game Plus, um, I can't actually play the old game, which is um, Realm Reborn. Um, I don't know why. For some reason, Square Enix doesn't allow you to do New Game Plus with uh, Realm Reborn, but you can play up the Heavens. You can play Heavens Ward at the beginning until like whatever they released last. Um, although right now I'm actually flying through Shadowbringers again. I, I finally got through. I got through Heavens Ward. That was fun to go back through because there were some things that I forgot happened, and it was great going back to being able to play that. Um, I, I I enjoyed the ever living hell out of it. It was a lot of fun. Um, if you guys also hear the music playing in the background, I have this. I usually have the music set at like 50. I switched it all the way down to 20 because I I don't know. I just figured what the hell. Um, at the same time, I sat and said, "Look at you go see outside, see all the darkness. Nobody knows anything. Darkness ain't good." For some reason in this game, in the area I'm currently in, darkness somehow good also say hello to my little guy i love that guy favorite little minion um but as i was saying this is supposed to be an update video um, i might run around a little bit and show you guys like the game and everything but um i enjoy the hell of this game as i was saying uh as for content um i don't know what games i'm going to be playing a lot of um Right now, many of you are probably sitting there wondering, like, Demon, what could possibly be going on that you can't play? Well, now. Metro Exodus. Need to play that. Still haven't... I started it a very long time ago, got to a certain point, and then kind of quit. I think I got on the train bit at the beginning, and I got to the first area you can go to in it, and then I kind of quit playing. And... I mean... I need to record that for you guys. Um, I was going to do it this week, but this week it might be a little iffy. Um, I work a hell of a lot more than I was planning on this week, so I'm not going to have any time to record. Tomorrow I pretty much work all day long. By the time I get done um, first job, it might not be till almost after 2.30, time I eat. Relax for a bit because I'm going to need to relax. I got to go out to work at 5. <laughs> I get Tuesday off. But if anybody knows anything about this game, every Tuesday, um, the money and your dungeon stuff reset every Tuesday. They always do maintenance once a week every Monday night, like at 10, 11 o'clock to about 3 in the morning. can vary depending on what they're dealing with. But... Uh, I have like I have a currency I'm trying to get by doing one of the dungeons and it I have to do it. I get 50 points for every time I complete it, so I have to do it 9 goddamn times. Imagine how I feel every time I have to deal with it. 
nine times I have to play the same thing again. It's not a bad mission. I actually enjoy the hell out of it. And sometimes you can get like some of the... And it's so weird when I play it too. It's like there's some games where I get a group of players. And it's calm. It's refreshing. Like everybody's playing. But and it, you fly through it. Like literally. I don't know what damn roles everybody has. What jobs or classes they are doing. But my god, do they fly through this thing. It is hilarious how fast we fly through it. Just from, like, AoE attacks and stuff like that. The bosses, like, we just curb stomp these bitches. Um, then there's other times where I'm playing it and I get, um... Really slow matches where I end up fighting a lot longer than I used to. <laughs> like, I'll get into, like, a certain part of the boss where, like, it, like, does a different style attack that I never dealt with before I think I got I think I dealt with that one time on one of them and it ended up killing me like one or two times because I was dumbfounded by the people I was playing with like they couldn't they like I know what I have to do but it seemed like their attacks were really crappy which I don't know if that was because they were new players or it's just the roles that everybody has at the time I don't freaking know um at the same time uh while I'm doing that, I think Square Enix is supposed to release a new point five. Well, it's I think we're on five point three patch right now, and they're supposed to release patch five point three five, which is supposed to release a little bit of new content. So I want to kind of go explore and see what the hell's going on with that. But at the same time, uh, I also had to do that dungeon thing, so. Tuesday is probably going to be me focusing on Final Fantasy 14 as I go running around and doing those missions and see what's going on. Maybe play a little bit of New Game Plus if I have time. Maybe I'll play. Um, maybe I'll play a little bit of Exodus. Uh, maybe like an hour's worth, and then hold myself to like an hour and then quit. <laughs> uh, that way, I just have some content getting done. Um, at the same time, as I always say, I have Mass Effect 3 playing in the background. So for anybody mm -hmm. who which one did I have that at? Whatever anybody wants to watch Final Fantasy. Or not Final Fantasy, but Mass Effect 3. Don't worry. That content is going to come out eventually. But I have to get a lot of that game done. <laughs> a hell of a lot of that game done. There's so many hours that I have to pay attention to. And as much as I want to play it. As much as I want to beat it. I've done it so many times. So my focus is it's getting, it's getting killed. Um, but in all honesty, I, I love that game. I have to get back into playing it more. I know I was on the Normandy, and I think we're getting ready. To, I think I just finished Mars, so I think we were able to do some of the N7 missions in the background. So I was going to have to do all of those goddamn things. And oh, they're going to be a pain in the ass. Um, I mean, I have all the DLC unlocked because I bought the deluxe thing off of freaking Steam and... Don't get me started with Origins. They're pissing me off. I had my one profile that I no longer get access to, so I gotta go and mess with that at some point. Right now, I don't care enough, so I'm not messing with it. I'll probably, max, probably mess with it sometime in December. That or whenever this Hocus Pocus stuff with the freaking uh, thingy going, spreading around around the country and the world. Maybe that's when Origin can open everything back up and it probably won't be as difficult. I, I don't know if I was having... I forget if I was having trouble with that. I just got irritated. Um, same time. Let's see. I got that done. Uh, I also have a lot of Hoi 4 content. Um, for anybody who's mm -hmm. curious or wonders what goes on with that game. Uh, the Japan game I finished today. I played it for several more hours. And if you get mad, calm it down. But I got very exhausted playing that game um that's usually what ends up happening in hoi at some point for me um there's a point where i just can't play the game anymore um and i kind of reached that point in that campaign i think we were in the i think i ended it in the 50s um i basically won but with the way the ai run and dealing with certain things i get f slightly frustrated irritated and then after doing my maneuvers, I was like, I think I won. Because <laughs> I couldn't play it anymore. Because it, it reached the point where I would have to start naval invading everything. And I was like, I don't want to naval invade. I want to go play and have some fun today. This is my only. This is going to be my only real day off this week. 
And I was like, I need this Sunday to freaking relax before I lose my mind. Um, if I luck out, maybe it'll be actually a pretty good week. But hmm? who the hell knows? Uh, same time, um, I'm doing that. I know next month Cyberpunk comes out. I don't know if I'm going to record that or not. That is, um, it's up in the air. Uh, mainly just because I'm thinking very harshly that the game is probably going to be very un-PG-13. Um, I, I would doubt it's going to be even rated M for Mature. There's going to be some things in that game. Making me think. <laughs> I don't even know if I want to stream it on Twitch. Because <laughs> it's going to be bad. <laughs> um, I know the other thing I'm dealing with is I'm still trying to get access to a 3080. Um, I know Cyberpunk is recommending you have at least a 1070, I think was the last time I looked at the recommenda recommended uh, GPU. Um, but as everybody knows, getting access to that 3080 really really sucks and i hate the bots i hate the people that keep buying so many of them i can't get access to them and i really want one this is for me i want it i actually got money <laughs> i mean birthday just happened today today is the 11th so yippee for me i get my birthday now nah, i want my stuff <laughs> really want my stuff <laughs> Especially if it gets on Amazon. I actually really want to buy it on Amazon. I don't really want to buy it through Newegg. Um, it will cost me, it cost me well over $800. I don't want to really buy it from EVGA. I know you can finance it through EVGA, but I prefer Amazon is my thing. I don't know how many other people do. Um, multiple reasons being is, A, if I buy it on there, I have 200 bucks saved up on Amazon uh, for gift cards. Um... Another thing I have going for me on there is I also would have access to that Prime card, which if anybody knows anything about Prime and how amazing it is, I can just pay it off in so many months, <laughs> which is a preference to me. I'd be paying like, let's see, I think the one I was looking at was the 3080 FTW Ultra. Um, so I was going to buy the kind of the, you know, really nice one that was going to run a lot better. Um, I have space in my case for it. Um, don't know how it's going to work, though. Um, I know I could be able to play 4K, but I don't know how much 4K I'd actually be playing. Um, that's mm -hmm. up in the air, so I, I don't know. I, I wouldn't know. I, as much as I would like to play in 4K, I do have the 4K TV. Uh, in terms of recordings, I'd probably stick at the 1080, uh, mainly being the fact that for you guys and for like streaming and recording and... Uh, other things it would make more sense for me because one it doesn't require that much to actually edit the video two i can't play 2k on a 4k television because tvs aren't designed for 2k because you know if you know anything about tvs which if you think about it really hard is for some reason they skipped 2k and went the 4k personally if it was me and i was the cable companies i'd be jumping on 2k because it'd be really nice uh, but none of the television companies have it set up that way. None of the TV producers, I think, can make it that way. So it's really freaking weird to me. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's just the way it's designed. Something doesn't agree with it. Who knows? Um, at the same time as that's going on... Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to talk about. Um, I know I'm going to be trying to get more hours at my normal work... My actual workplace. Um... So that's probably going to have a big distraction in terms of recordings, uh, depending. Uh, I'm trying to get more hours compared to my other job, which usually it's only weekly. And it can vary if I get called in or not. Uh, so the way I got it is trying to make my, my availability set for Sundays, Tuesday, Thursdays, and Saturdays. So I can get up to eight hours if possible, because I really want the money right now and I need the insurance. Um... Luckily, I just turned 26. Happy birthday to me. Um, at the same time, uh, Monday, Wednesdays, Fridays, I'm trying to get four or five hours, if possible, six at max. Um, but if full-time position opens up, I'm probably going to jump on that bitch in a heartbeat, uh, just because I need it. So I'm doing that, working 40 hours a week, combined with possible getting called out to do other things. 
I might not have a lot of time to do recordings for a bit. I don't know. Um, it, I, I might, I might not. It might be less single player stuff. I'll see if I get some of my buddies to play. Um, I know I've been playing with Quobling a fair bit, but I haven't seen him on a little bit. I, I assume either he has like school stuff going on or he's working. Uh, Red's been kind of busy doing Red stuff. Hmm? Don't ask me what it is. I don't know either. All I know is I haven't seen him on. Last thing I seen him playing was Sims, and that was his girlfriend, I think, playing. Um, <laughs> I don't know why he don't get on. He must just be really busy working. I haven't been able to talk to him for a bit, so I don't know. Um, besides that, I know Quibbling's probably looking forward to the new Hoi 4 DLC because we're probably going to play the hell out of Grease. I think between me and him, we're probably going to have a lot more bulking games going. Um, I know it's like right now when I try to play it, I, I don't really have too much fun playing the game with... Uh, I can't play the default version of the game anymore, like with no mods. Without mods, Hoi 4 just doesn't feel fun. Um, two, I don't really find the overall game to be that enjoyable without them. Um, so I can't really play without the mods. Uh... At the same time, I don't know if I really like playing in the Balkans or not. I, I've tried a lot of times to play in the Balkans. Um, Greece actually is doable. Greece is fun because you can build a, you can build a small ground army. You can hold the mountains. But after that, you can't do anything. Um, the AI are horrid at doing anything in this game. And I mean horrid. It's, it's a freaking pitiful mess. With what goes on in Hoi 4 with these AI. I hate them so much. They irritate the ever-living hell out of me. And it frustrates me to no end. Um, especially when it comes to AI that are with you. Uh, every time I play this game and it's single player. Britain always loses North Africa. France always loses North Africa. Nobody ever can just hold freaking North Africa and the Allies. It always takes me to do it. If I play as Britain, I typically can always hold it. It's really not that hard. At the same time, I play as the United States. It's more fun playing the United States because it's kind of like playing Germany for the Axis and the Soviets for the common turn. You have this big industrial base. You have this big population to get used. The only problem with the game is, again, you're running into the problem of the AI. And you're hoping to God that they actually have an intellect level above a 10-year-old. And... They really are just stupid. And I hate the fact that the guys have it set up to where you can give control of states and ask for control of states. Because there's so many times where, like, the AI will, like, they'll be like, oh, you own all of North Africa and you're building it up so that we can have a massive allied air campaign and infrastructure in naval ports to be able to successfully lead an invasion from into the Mediterranean from North Africa to Italy. And then for whatever reason, the AI never build anything on it. They never build up the airfields. They never build up the infrastructure. They never build up the naval bases. They never even build AA guns, for Christ's sakes. And there's probably a mod where I can get control of a lot of those states, and I'm probably going to be looking at it at some point. I'm pretty, I'm 99% sure there's a mod for that. If I had that, it'd be great. Because it, it's just frustrating playing that game with the AI. I've been enjoying it with Quibbling. Me and him have been having a hell of a lot of fun. Our Fran the Soviet-France campaign was... Oh. Beautiful. Beautiful. Although, I, I kind of had, like, this, like, nice section of Europe. I love how I had it set up. I won't say what I did to it, because I'll probably post the video on it. The episodes on it. I don't know how much we're going to get done, though, because as I said, once that DLC pops up, the updates for Hoy are going to start flying out, and once the updates start, I can't... We won't probably won't be able to complete the game because it's going to run into a whole bunch of crashing issues between the mods being updated and the game being updated. And then if we both get the DLC, I don't know... I, we're not going to be able to keep it on. We're going to have to have it turned off to even play the save game, which is even more weird. Who the hell knows? We'll have to see. I mean, the other option we have... Well, actually, I don't have that option, which is try to stop the updates from happening on the game. Put it in an older run build and playing it that way. But I don't know how to do that. <laughs> so, that, that ain't happening. Me not good when it comes to uh, complicatingly stopping files from updating onto my computer because I am not a computer genius. Yay. Uh, at the same time... 
I know I have those going on. Um, I already went through the personal stuff. Uh, at least for the plans for this week. I don't know when I'm going to upload this video, though. It's probably going to be like 3.15 whenever I release it. Oh, yeah, and I said I'd show you guys some of the stuff, so, uh... Damn it. Where is it? Yeah. 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 Damn it. All right, I'm going to turn off scroll walk. Yeah, it kind of tells you what you're all doing in this. It's kind of funny. Yeah, as I was saying, I'd show you guys kind of around. Yeah, you can see all this stuff. I love this game. There's so much stuff, and there's so many people to play it. I'm surprised at the uh, player count. It's kind of funny with the world I'm on right now. Um, I think it says it's overpopulated right now, and because it's overpopulated, they're looking for everybody to try to leave to go to other servers or other worlds to play on that are uh, just starting out. And there's always a ton of people here at Pistarium sometimes. Although it's not it's not that much, I won't lie. Like if you see all these people here, you're probably going, wow, demon, that's a lot of people sitting here. Um I'll be honest, you wanna see something crazy? I'll show you something insane. This ain't even that many people. These are all the people playing DLC and just screwing around here. You wanna see Hellbreak loose? Watch what I'm about to show you. Bam. This place is always oh my god, it ain't packed. Jesus Christ. Oh, no, 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 it's packed. Yeah, it's really packed. Also, I gotta be careful sometimes. There's a lot of people with really weird names in this game. So for some reason, Square Enix makes this. Oh my, Jesus Christ, there's too many. This is why I stay away from this place. Is that a poor, why are all these poor people here? <laughs> a person sleeping, taking a nap. Jesus Christ. People begging on the streets as characters. Yeah, I told you, this place is weird. Yeah, this is probably the most busy place I've ever been at. Because I think this is where I start out is that new Verdania place whenever I originally started playing. It was fun playing there and having everything, but the population is so much larger in this area. It's unimaginable. And again, I have, as I said before, I have to be very careful with... Uh, some of this because I, I have ran into some names some of them are very questionable some of them are rather funny some of them are um yeah they're kind of weird also if anybody wonders why my character is named this it's because I went off the random guessing thing like you when you make a new character in this game you literally can just hit random and it will make a whole bunch of different names I think this name no 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 not interested I'm gonna actually leave here because everybody's getting weird again. Let's go back out of this area and head to the upper deck. It's usually safer up here and I don't get bothered with as much. Oh, freedom. Uh, but yeah. Anybody's wondering what I started out as? I started out as a little Archer, and then when I was an Archer, I upgraded to Bard because that is the soul crystal thingy that gives you this cool, awesome thing. I'm Bard now. Although it took me forever to learn how to play this character. I, I originally played this. This game was the most confusing mess I ever played with on PS4. But I fell in love with the game after I like reached this point where I was like, I really want to play a game that's a lot of fun. And will take long hours of immense time. My only regret is you can't see anybody down there. That'd be really cool. I wish they'd let you see that, but they have to spawn in new areas every time. Which, again, this game is based off Realm Reborn, so it kinda makes sense why you can't see everything down there. Um, I think that was the only real regret I think Square Enix has. They, they want to update the uh, original game a little bit, but they really can't. Kinda sucks. Um, where the hell is that, where the hell is that person at? Oh, there he is. There's a, I'm actually just gonna head back in. I mean, I could show off more. Yeah, I'm just gonna go in here before I run into the crazy people. Easiest way to describe being in like a multiplayer MMO is like playing VR chat. You can you can find a lot of sane people, but the moment you find the weird people is when you get concerned with your life. Mainly because you don't know what the hell's about to happen. Um, so as I said before, this is pretty much where we get in here. 
Now, is my character gonna do it? Did do it. Cool. Uh, I like having everything set up the way I do. Uh, but as I was saying, uh, with everything going on with this, I, I just have been playing this game the most. This game's been the most exciting. I love this game. It's so much fun. Yeah, you can call, like, all this. This, like, plays all the music in the game that you've unlocked. This thing he, like, calls in this, like, barber guy. Which I didn't know actually existed in the game, but they have a fair bit of different hairstyles. Although, I paid an insanely amount of, uh, what's called gill in this game. This is the game's in-game currency. I spent a lot of this to just get this haircut. For those who are concerned with it, play Final Fantasy. Go to Miscellaneous. Hit the arrow two times get to the third slot you'll hit you'll you'll find it and i spent probably a hundred something thousand gil on this which I, which is bad but when you unlock all this stuff and um or you unlock these like uh it's called materia it's what you can upgrade your like you can in and in put into your like oh there it is Here, let me show it to you yeah let me do that um, it's a th you'll see it. It's, uh, you go to bonuses, you see pl plus 311 dexterity, the material. That's what you can put into these and meld into it. I currently don't have anything melded into my stuff because I don't care. <laughs> I, I really, I really, really don't freaking care. I also don't like looking at that. Um, too bright. I hate sunlight. It's my enemy. Uh, but just with that stuff going on, it's just, I don't know. I just felt like doing an update. Um, I don't know when, uh, as I said, I don't know when Mass Effect 3 is going to get done. I don't know when uh, Exodus is going to get done. I don't know. Honestly, I still have Uncharted for PS4 that I haven't even finished yet. It's still sitting in my files. And I'm pretty sure I have it set at 720p. Oh yeah, that's right, because it was the recommended thing and I couldn't switch it off PlayStation. Damn it. Yeah, that was that problem. Um, I think it's... I, I don't know. I could probably finish Uncharted, to be honest. Uncharted actually wouldn't be that bad. I think if I remember right, we... I think I was in the Jeep. It backed off a cliff. We landed in water, and then I was shooting at people. Which, if I remember right, it means there's probably a couple more hours of that game. Well, two to three. I don't know, though. I had fun streaming the hell out of that game, and then I just quit playing it. I actually haven't streamed a long time either. I kept thinking of streaming this, but I don't know. I don't know if I'd really like to stream Final Fantasy, because it's like I'm not going to be doing anything. I'll be doing New Game Plus. And, like, most of the people have already seen the story. They'd be listening to me BS in the background. There's also a possibility of me getting friends involved in that damn Discord chat, and then we all start BSing with the people. As I said, I tried to get Red into this game, and I think... I think I got him almost to level. Maybe around. It was between 10 and 15. But I don't remember. Whenever we got. To, whenever we got around that character uh, area, he ended up quit playing. I, I, I told him to come back because I was like, you're starting to get into like like when it gets better. But he, he said he was done with this. <laughs> that and. Uh, for those who uh, may be wondering, does this game cost money to buy? Yes, it does. I remember right to get this game and the DLCs. I could be wrong. Sixty dollars, and I think you can unlock them all because I think they, I think they just charge you for what the new one is. I don't honest to God remember. I, I only thing I can tell you is, when I was playing this, it had the sale price at thirty dollars. You get the base game, all the DLCs for thirty bucks. And that, that was like a month or two ago. I was like, even if I didn't have the game then, I would have bought that. For $30, I've been, sp I've literally, <sighs> when I went and tried to get through to Shadowbringers to beat it the first time, I had to go through Stormblood still and finish Heaven's Word because I didn't finish it. Because the last thing I did, I, I don't remember if I played it on PS4 or if I played it on my computer. I know I had this game on my computer and I quit playing it because I bought Stormblood at the time. Um, I tried playing this game, quit, and I went and played it. It took me several weeks to beat. And I've literally spent 
the last, I'd probably say almost a good chunk of a month trying to get through the game again on New Game Plus. A month. There's a month's worth of gameplay in this, in the DLCs alone. And mind you, they only go up 10 levels. You have to go from level 1 to level goddamn 50 in Realm Reborn. There's a lot of campaign. There's a lot of missions. I haven't even touched on them yet. You want to see something amazing? Here's your duty finder. <laughs> Look at this. Look at what they present you. This is dungeons from Realm Reborn, Heaven's Word, and Stormblood. Look at how many dungeon raids there are. There's so many. And, it, and they do repeat some. I'm not going to lie. They do repeat some of them. But it's within reason. They increase the difficulty on them. So it's like more of a challenge. Which is really fun. And the story is really good for this game. I enjoyed the hell out of it. Um, not sponsored, by the way. Um, I, I just love this game. This game's a lot of fun. I, I, I'm not big on MMOs. Like, I tried to play World of Warcraft. Because my one cousin was trying to get me into it. And I, I never told him I downloaded it, but I tried to play it, and I lost complete interest in that game almost immediately. Like, I just hate the old-style graphics. I hated the fighting style. There wasn't much there that I enjoyed. In comparison to this, holy crap, I didn't realize it. That much crap. Uh, nah, actually, I gotta lie. These Relic Reborn ones actually don't count that much. I think you get four people and we ended those in like five or ten minutes. We ended that in like five minutes. That, those, those don't count. But like, you can sit there and see where all these things are at. Look at this. That's how many freaking missions these people added. It's amazing. And, and, and mind you, these are the trials for Shadowbringers where you have to beat like the boss people. Right? Listen to this. This is, this is what you get when you beat the boss people. You get even harder freaking missions. They put them on like extreme difficulty. I haven't even tried these yet. Reason being, I don't want the headache. And I'm pretty sure there's another one. What is that, high end duty? Yeah, so there's the high end duty. You beat the final boss that they gave us from the last patch on, the, on extreme. This thing looks like it'd be a bitch. I don't even want to try it. Um, there, I mean, there's that, there's all this Realm Reborn stuff from this that I don't even remember. So like I said, I, I haven't played Realm Reborn in so long, I don't remember any of these things. I, I oh, oh yeah, this was the only thing I never beat on this, because I, I didn't care enough. Because I got too far in the story and I lost interest. Um, besides that, I mean, there's all these, like, PvP things you can play. I've never played any of the PvP for this. I, I didn't think it'd be that interesting, to be honest. Um... I don't know, I, I, I just I just lost interest after a while, but I know a lot of you guys are probably getting to this point where you're about to fall to freaking sleep because I'm talking for too long. I'm not gonna lie, the emotes for this game are actually really neat. Ah, damn it, wrong one. It's like, look at this. Let me, look at how many freaking things you get. Although, I gotta say one thing for Square Enix. The one thing I don't really like for this game... Mind you, it's not the game. The game is amazing. They actually have an in-game store where you can buy some of the emotes. I'm not a big fan of it. Uh, this is how I feel when I look at it. I, put, I bury my face in disbelief. Because... The, the, the game is a good the game's fun the game's amazing there's so many hours you can work in this i not even got into like half of what like that this is like me playing the game but you guys are like wow you're level 60 and your character's a dancer it's like no i literally just found the mission got this and you start at level 60 samurai level 50 same thing there's a mission you find gives you level 50 I don't remember why I'm a level 1 Lantern, I don't remember why I'm a level 15 Pugilist. Those are the only two I don't remember anything at all. And the reason being is because I haven't played, this is probably PS4 days, and I don't remember anything. The Dark Knight at level 30, same thing, I'm pretty sure I got that and I don't remember how. Look at all these. Look at this. Look Demon, what is this? You can become a Disciple of the Hand and a Disciple of the Land. These guys get a sh shit ton of money. Shit ton of money. Guild-wise. 
for trading and building and creating all this stuff it, i i don't have time to do that <laughs> like i went for like the simplest character like I, I learned this like really quickly which was like this playing as the bard character made the most sense for me and that's the other reason why i won't mess with this character anymore <laughs> I don't want to spend ten. I don't want to spend like ten, fifteen dollars to, to go get that Fantasia stuff. And I think I, I think when I played this game originally on PS4, I think I used it to mess with this character some, so they were a little bit different. So I don't have that bottle anymore that you get for free for beating Realm Reborn. So I'm not. I don't really feel like paying a lot of money to get this character switch. So I, I'm perfectly happy playing as this because character's fine. I like it. And I, I really don't care what I play as, since I get left alone. Uh, although, oh yeah, that was the only other issue I have with this game. The only other issue I have with this game is the item levels. The item levels I don't mind. My only problem is, and it's a problem, is when I went to Shadowbringers and I was paying, playing the post stuff that comes in this game. Like the post uh, stuff you can get. You guys can kind of see it from this watch. So this is Heaven's Ward, that's Heaven's Ward, that's Heaven's Ward, this is probably post Heaven's Ward, because it, it has not, it, it ties a little bit into this, but not enough to where I would consider it fully into it. Stormblood, Stormblood, mm, still Stormblood. Eh, somewhat, because it's still... Eh, I guess you can, because it still ties into this. This, though, I think, is, like, more of a post-Stormblood. Now you're at Shadowbringers, which is... I was surprised at how long this was. And I'm still on this one. I haven't even gotten to killing, uh... The last light guy yet. I'm not going to say what he is, because I'm just going to say the light guy. I didn't say white guy. Not that kind of white. Just light. Um, and it is insane how much stuff is in this game. It's freaking crazy. Um, but I, I actually wanted to try to get an update for you guys. I know many of you are probably getting ready to fall asleep here on me because you're like, Demon, I don't want to keep watching this and it's taking too long and it's irritating. Don't worry, I'm awake. I gotta say, they do do, they too tried a little bit with the emotes. Thank God they tried. Um, but as I said, I'm probably going to go ahead and end this here. Um, I don't know when I'll release another update. Maybe I'll do an update playing this game. Maybe I won't do an update playing this game. Maybe I'll do an update when I'm in the middle of a dungeon. Maybe when I'm screwing around and running around. I don't freaking know. I just wanted to do it off this character because I can do emotes and sit there and wave and feel disappointment, point at myself, think, fall asleep. That or just give this expression every time because every time I hear Red talk, because I just go, Red, I don't know. I knew nothing. It's like that when we played Among Us. I just put my hands up in the air and I go, Good luck, everybody else. <laughs> um, yeah, but that's about it, guys. So please like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. We come back, ladies and gents. As I said before, I don't know what the hell I'm going to be playing. I don't know what I'm going to be posting. Hoy is. I have Hoy and Among Us ready. For the most part. Exodus isn't started, and Mass Effect 3 needs to get done before I actually post. And when I post Mass Effect 3, that game gonna go on for at least two months. <laughs> That's how much gameplay there is. Um, so, I'll see you guys. Good luck. Have fun. And maybe I'll do more update. Maybe I'll do more updates with this character because I actually like playing this game too much. So, uh, see you guys next time. Thanks.